Hey guys, Dave from Timber Time Outdoors. I have another video for you today. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna test the limits of this Polaris in an ice fishing scenario. So if you watch the channel, you've seen that I've got a new uh, ATV here, rigged it out for ice fishing. Um, one of the things that everybody agonizes about is should I get an ATV or should I get a snowmobile? There's pros and cons to both. And today we are going to test you know, why people always shy away from an ATV. They're afraid they're gonna get stuck. Um, you know, we get a lot of snow, you get slush. Um, I am out in the worst condition possible, and I'll show you that stuff here in the video. But this video is all about testing the ability of an ATV without tracks and rear chains. So stay with us, guys. Hey now. Take a step outside and seize the day now. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at some of the conditions and I'll show you the machine. And then the rest of the video is just gonna be me bombing through the snow and slush and see if I can get stuck. Um, there are some people out here. I am on the St. Croix River uh, near Hudson and still, Hudson, Wisconsin and Stillwater, Minnesota. And it is like January 7th, I think. And we have had some hellacious weather, two massive snowstorms. There was a warm spell. So, I mean, I can't, I can't make a scenario worse for an ATV than what I'm gonna try here. You've got crust, you've got deep snow, and you've got slush. So let me grab the camera, I'm gonna walk you around. All right, I think we'll start with the ATV and um, I'll post a link to the video, you know, where I talk about this ATV uh, and you know, what I've done to it. You can see it's kind of set up for ice fishing. I am not towing a sled, which actually helps in this scenario. So you don't have that extra drag. I've got my sled, which is just a one man up on the rack. And you can see, I just have a simple setup, rear chains only, no front chains. Um, you know, some, some of you have made comments already that don't put front chains on, it's gonna wreck your four wheel drive. I actually have no idea if it will or won't. I have a buddy who uses them and he's never wrecked it, gets a little extra traction. I know one thing, I do have a little trouble steering sometimes. Um, so yeah, you can see, sorry about the sun if there's glare, but I uh, get the auger on front, you know, there's quite a bit of weight on the back. Um, I'll link another video here where I did a suspension lockout system so I don't get any sag. You know, stiff ride, but who cares, right, I'm ice fishing. So this is the setup, just a standard Polaris 570 Sportsman. Uh, I've got it in four wheel drive. You can see there it's in four wheel drive. Um, yeah, so that's what we got. And I'm trying to go up there someplace. So let's look at the snow. Um, and you can see there's a little road here. So I made it up this little, someone plowed a little ways, but then it goes to hell pretty fast. And look at that, all right? I mean, someone made it through. You can see there's some ATVs that have gone out here, the snowmobiles. But yeah, we got slush. And I'll take you over here and you can see the snow depth. You know, this is not, it is crusty. So it melted, it refroze. You know, that's probably up to the bottom of my calf. I don't have a tape measure, but um, see if I can put some kind of visual up on the screen here that shows how deep it is. Yeah, so that's the situation. And uh, if I get stuck, I'll use my Arctic anchor, which I will make a video of that as well. So flip you around. All right, let's get after it. See what happens. Stay with us. So guys, I just have the stock Polaris tires and a very simple um, chain setup on the rear. 
and you can see here you know they uh, they start to spin a little bit they dig down as soon as they grab traction they move you forward um, I love the simplicity of this system um, you know I don't have to spend thousands of dollars on tracks and um, yeah they just do a great job so far okay test number one I mean straight up snow no issue whatsoever this is in high gear four-wheel drive chains pass um, you know I didn't see any any slush you know, I walked the camera up here where I went see if we can find any slush there's slush over that way we're gonna hit that next but let's uh let's just walk a little bit and you can kind of see you know pretty damn deep snow um, is there water there? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if that's showing up. You know, I bogged down a little bit over here. Let's just see um, what's up this way. But, you know, you can see this is way over a foot deep. Um, it's got a crust. You know, it's below, below freezing right now, so the, the snow's not that sticky stuff. Sometimes that's a bad scenario, too. But, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's try the slush. Gonna add a little commentary here guys you know i was really nervous when i bought this atv i was worried about getting stuck but i'll tell you it has exceeded my expectations um, i've had it in some rough situations i had it on my and some deep drifts um, and you can see here this is about as bad as it gets now you know if it gets um, deep enough where you don't have any ground clearance of course you probably are going to get stuck but uh, I wouldn't shy away from an ATV, guys. And, and certainly, I don't know that uh, you need tracks. Maybe someday I'll get some, but uh, phenomenal machine so far. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, I'm on top of the slush right now. He dropped. Man, I, I bet that's four inches of slush. Easy. Um... I'll just walk you around a little bit and show you what we went through. Nasty. Nasty. Yeah, you can see, I mean, it's terrible. Terrible stuff. ATV does fine. Now, I am getting loaded up with ice here. Could be a problem later. We'll see, but uh, yeah, she's doing good. Um, got great big mittens on. So, um, I don't know what else to try here. We're going to head off to our fishing spot. Maybe we'll just close the video, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Okay, guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you what an ATV can do for ice fishing. If you're wondering about... Sorry, I forgot. It's not, but uh, it's cold. We got a little breeze. Um, if you're worrying about ATV versus snowmobile, you know, there's always going to be a situation where an ATV is going to get stuck. Um, it's gonna happen but boy you know I think those situations are rare again it depends on where you live now snowmobiles can go faster but guess what if you're towing a sled you can't go that fast anyways so you know I'm just gonna make a strong argument here for an ATV because you can use it year-round and for other stuff you know I know some of you guys are gonna make comments about snowmobiles awesome I almost bought one my buddy talked me out of it and uh, so anyways, um, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, send to your friends, and remember, everybody, keep it in the timber. Bye-bye.